Hey everybody, welcome back. In our next video here, I'm going to show you how to use your iPad with GarageBand to get set up to play songs in either your right hand or your left hand. So this is what I'm looking at right now. So what do I do to get back to the keyboard? I hit these squares up here. It'll take me back here to the screen. We'll choose the keyboard and we'll set it up to be in regular keyboard view. So there you are. Um, okay, so if you notice on each middle in each C, it tells you C and then a number after it. This says C3. Down here it says C2. Okay, what that is uh, is telling you which C it is. Here's what C2 sounds like. Here's C3. Uh, if we keep going, C4. So as the numbers get higher, the notes get higher. So we're looking to play, when we play our songs in music class on the piano, we're looking to start at middle C. And middle C is C3. So how, if your keyboard is not set up with middle C in the middle here, how do you do that? Here's how. We're going to start with this button in the middle here. It says this little square button right in the middle. You're going to hit that uh, until it says scroll, S-C-R-O-L-L. -L. And when you swipe the keyboard, you'll be able to drag it along like this. And you'd like to, I'd like you to do that until you put C3 right underneath the scroll. There it is. So you're going to move this until C3 is right underneath the scroll button. Okay, and once it's there, press it again. Okay, so we'll do that one more time. We're going to take this. Let's say you start out and you see maybe C4 in the middle or some other C. You make sure that this button is set to scroll. Starts with a big S. And then you drag the keyboard until your C3 key is right underneath that button. And there it is right there. I don't know if you can see that. That's how you do it. And then once you're there, hit that middle button again. And it'll stop the keyboard from moving. And then you put your thumb on that C3. If you're playing with your right hand. Or the opposite if you're playing with your left hand. But the thumb always goes on that C3. And then you're ready to play. Alright, so good luck with that. And I'll see you next time.